Okay, here we go. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here and welcome to my very first um, co create shifts with while abandoned Zoom hangout. And I'm so excited for today's event. And for all the people who have written to me, I have your information. So I will address all the issues that you have written to me about. And then tuning into today's group, here's um, all the things we're gonna be doing. So I sense that uh, this, there needs to be some entity clearing done. After I'm done clearing entities, so for those of you who don't know, entities are just, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say there's all kinds of entities. What they are is lower energy vibrations that kind of make you sick or, or tired, feeling yucky, feeling negative, and you may have gotten them from other people or from all around you or just being in overwhelm. So I have a sense that a lot of people are in that space of being overwhelmed and they don't know why. And, and I think that it may very well be that, uh, that it's not you. You are just really sensitive and you're tuning into a lot of people. And bright light attracts entities because I mean, people who, who are of the light kind of attract entities because those entities want to be transformed into the light. So we're gonna do an entity clearing and there's nothing that you need to do. So feel free to like get a drink of water whenever you need to during this time. And after we do the entity clearing, then all bodies will be uh, more able to handle the energy of um, the soul chakra activation. And I think that is just gonna be really awesome to uh, do a soul chakra activation. And I'm gonna do this differently than I usually do. I'm gonna do it with a, a holographic tool that I, along with my uh, guides, design. So my guides, I call them cosmic muses. They are different consciousness from different parts of the universe, as well as angels, archangels, light beings, who help me to do my work. And I'm just like, so, so, so looking forward to sharing with you all what that is gonna be like, an activation of your soul chakra what a holographic tool. And after I'm done with that, then, <laughs> and this is kind of funny, then I'm gonna search engine optimize the universe to help some of you find your soulmate. The ones who already have a soulmate you love, thank you for being here because I love that some of you already have the one you, lo you love that allows other people to kind of like entrain to your energy and hope that we have the good luck to find a soulmate like you did. So, <laughs> so thank you all for being here, whether you are single or whether you have already found your soulmate, that's all good. So yeah, search engine optimize the universe for soulmate. And for those of you who are looking for um, work, we're gonna search engine optimize the universe to find your work. And, and I think it's just funny that I just came out with the term search engine optimize the universe. <laughs> Such a high tech way to find a soulmate, huh? <laughs> so let's see, I'm going to, well, we'll start now um, and then feel free to type into our uh, chat box if you are doing this from your computer there's a chat box where you can write in and i will give you all time to uh chime in as i go so now i think that 
I'm going to start off with uh, just doing entity clearings. Hello and welcome, everybody. There's a chat box for everybody to sign in. Thank you for being here. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, just have you all be grounded so you may feel some energies around you. Hello and welcome. Oh, that's great. And, and I always start 10 minutes late. It's like 10 minutes later, everybody shows up. Yay. So for those of you who just join us, I'm just going to give you a quick run of what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do an entity clearing so that when I do the soul chakra activation, that will be able to, uh, yeah, your body will be able to hold that energy more. And after I do the soul chakra activation, a lot of people are wanting to be connected with their soul purpose so that they can find work that is in alignment with them. And of course, soulmate that is in alignment with you. So we're going to search engine optimize the universe for soulmates. <laughs> or twin flames, or who knows, maybe just a one night stand will do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something like that. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, hi. Oh, I see him waving his hands. Okay. Oh, I was just son, Eric. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can include everybody here. So, um, and then I think there's people who have uh, some of you on the line are healers yourself. So I know that everybody wants more business. So we'll do that too. We'll search engine optimize the universe for more clients, <laughs> paying clients. <laughs> So here we go. We're going to do a entity clearing. Okay. So we'll have you all be grounded first. Oh. And just imagine beautiful white light coming down your crown chakra, going all the way down to your earth chakra. And I usually work with um, the Arcturians. So, so these are, it's a consciousness, it's beings from Arcturus. And I just really like mm -hmm. their energy. And they usually help me create a counterclockwise vortex around you to just delete all the energies around you that don't belong to you. Mm -hmm. So let's let that run for a few minutes. Let that run for a few minutes. And there's nothing that you need to do. And you may feel a lot of heat around you already. I usually feel heat, but some of you may feel cold. And that's also okay. So, oh. yeah, let this energy keep on moving around you, moving around you. Yeah. So we're gonna have, let's see, around the back of your neck, back of your head, we're gonna remove those auric attachments, entities, and any lower energy that, that are not for you. Any portals, any warm holes that are not of love, we will now just delete out of your system. Yeah, those portals. Okay, close all those portals that don't belong to you. 
Anything that drains you. Okay, entities, okay. Back of your head, shoulders, lower back, lower legs, hips, thighs, ankles, the left side of your face, the right side of your face, the neck, Yeah, so let's delete those. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then in the front, your throat area, the sinuses, the eyes, chest, around the arms, third chakra solar plexus area, second chakra front and back. Now, first chakra. Oh. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed up the energy in the vortex 100 times. So we can just release more. Okay. Release, release, release. Okay, so now I think that we're almost, yeah, we're kind of ready for the soul chakra activation. And uh, for those of you who have not worked with me before, so the soul chakra is the often what we call the higher heart, and it's the place of your I am presence that's just a little bit above your heart between your, yeah, right here. And that is the place where you can access who you are as an infinite being. And so I created this holographic tool with the help of um, so many guides and angels and um, people, I, not consciousness I work with from different planetary systems. So. Doctorians, the Andromedans, the Syrians, um, Pleiadians, and so on and so forth, because we are all from the stars. And so some of you may or may not know your uh, star seed origins, and that's okay. That will come up as we do this activation. So... Just a second. We'll just... Ask that you all be surrounded by your guides and angels and surround you all with light beings. Clear the space where you are so only that which is for your highest good will be around you and only that which is for your highest good will be downloaded to you and for you. Yeah, there you go. And I just see Metatron putting beautiful 
Christ consciousness light around you all so that we can go into deep space to do the soul chakra activation. So now I'm connecting with the star chakra and that's, um, gosh, about 20 inches above your head. And if you put your arms up, you probably can feel a warmth around here right now because I, I can. Yeah, and you can all do that and just feel it. Yeah, isn't it getting hot up there? Like my hands are getting so hot when I do this. So now just gently breathe and connect to this beautiful energy and also be so grounded to the earth so that Mother Earth knows what gives you a brain to the world and she can connect you with the people who are here to support you. So now I'm just connecting to the holographic tool that we programmed just days ago. And it feels like it's a different color one for all of you. So what I did is program this uh, lotus, white, white, white lotus with pearlescent uh, petals that contain all colors, as well as silver and gold and platinum. So now just imagine that coming from your star chakra, now to your crown, your third eye, your throat, now in your soul chakra, your higher heart, and in your heart chakra as well. And now I'll just let it down your solar plexus. <sighs> Second chakra, your first chakra, and when it's ready to be grounded to the earth chakra, it will do that. So allow this to just expand that space around your heart. So now I'm feeling the energy of Lady Akasha and um, She's responsible for the Akashic Records, which is a record of who you are in all lifetimes, past lives as well as future lives, so that she can download for you what is relevant for you to know about yourself right now. And I can feel Saint Germain activating a lot of the healing energies and all of you healers. So that's awesome that so many healers on this call. Oh my gosh, you guys. And even if you don't consider yourself a healer, you are a healer because we all heal one another just by being who we are. By connecting with one another from a place of heart and soul. You are healing the world. So your, your soul is connected to every point in space and time that's timeless and spacious. Talking about star seed origins. So the people who are from Sirius, there you go. Is the Syrian energy. The 
somebody on this call, I think you're Pleiadian. And so there's the energy from the Pleiades for you. Hmm, okay, o Orion. Okay, there's energies from Andromeda. And this is all recorded, so you can watch this later. And uh, maybe the first time you're receiving this energy, maybe only one of it resonates with you. And there's nothing wrong with like downloading them all. Okay. Arcturus, energy from Arcturus, all your Arcturians. Okay, and this energy from oh, so many other places. Okay, for those of you who are wanting the soul chakra activation so that you can find work that is right for you, I think it would be helpful to first download for you um, like your totem animal or animal guide so that you feel like you have a real connection to an aspect of your soul that you can actually connect with and communicate with. So, so let's do that. And just close your eyes for a moment while I connect you to that space where you can be connected to your totem animals. So just feel the terrain around you changing right now. So it can be, you can be in the ocean, the mountain, the forest, the spring, meadow, the tundra, any of those places that resonate with you. And then you can count to five yourself. And in a count to five, you can ask that the totem animal that will be helping you with your sole purpose on earth, let that show up for you with total ease. Yeah. 
if you are able to connect with that, just thank them for being here with you. And let them know you will have a conversation with them later today. Well, you can have a quick conversation with them now. Okay. Okay, so now let's get back to our heart space and connect with that uh, pearlescent lotus flower that just got activated in your soul chakra. For those of you who are looking for work or for more clients, just imagine out of that lotus, Maybe some dragonflies. So imagine a dragonfly there from your heart space, or many dragonflies that will contain the essence of you and send that to the world in every direction and let those beautiful dragonflies connect with people who are your clients or a possible employer. And really connect with the kind of work you want to do that really brings you joy. And if you already have work that you love, just imagine having more of that. And now really just feel the energy of already having what you want. And thank all the dragonflies for doing their work for you, bringing you the clients you love and who love you, bringing you the work that you love. And be in that space of gratitude for all oh, that's going so well in your life. And there's so much. Okay, so the next thing is for those of you who are ready for a soulmate or twin flame, 
this part is for you. And to the wonderful people on the line who already have a soulmate, uh, you can just relax and contribute to all of us who are looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay so take a minute and just connect with your heart again and connect with the kind of soulmate you want so some of the qualities you want in your soulmate And really acknowledge the gift that you will be to them and the gift that they are to you. Okay, so now that you have at least a handful of uh, ideas about the kind of soulmate you want, I mean, most, most people have more than a handful of ideas about the kind of soulmate you want. So, yeah, so connect again with that hard space, with the uh, pearlescent white lotus. And just take a few of those lotus petals and imagine it turning into a butterfly with pearl lesson wings and all. So it's the same stuff as that lotus flower. And send it out to the universe. And have it connect with your ideal soulmate or twin flame. And it carries, that butterfly carries with it what resonates with your own heart and soul. So, yeah. Okay, so now you were just going to come back to our heart again and just feel what it's like to really have that soulmate in your life and have so much gratitude for, for their presence in your life, for all the love in your life. Okay, so now I just want to check in with all of you to see how things are going for you. So if you want to uh, unmute yourself, let me just unmute everybody. Unmute, unmute, in case you want to talk, unmute. And... Unmute. I'm unmuting you all. <laughs> okay, so how's everybody doing? Awesome. Good. So
So the next part is I'll be doing some uh, energy healing for, for bodies. And the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, the immune system. So after I work on the immune system for, for all of you, then I think I'm going to go to work on uh, hormones and all. So, okay. So here I go. I'm going to mute everybody again. And just give you all a break from. Okay, I'm going to drink some water and give myself a break from that activation. Okay, so to upgrade our immune system, um, it's kind of funny that we're going to start in the, uh, in the guts because having the right kinds of bacteria as well as the right amount is really helpful for improving the our Im immunity. And so I'm going to work in the gut area first with that and also to uh, do some anti-inflammatory stuff. I think I'm going to do anti-inflammation first because inflammation is implicated in so many chronic health issues. So I'm going to do, uh, yeah, okay, inflammation. So I'm just connecting with the healing frequencies that can act as anti-inflammation in your body, wherever that may be for you. And if you've been feeling tired and sluggish, that may be part of the issue. And this helps with infections too. So if you're dealing with sinus infection or any kind of infection, this is going to be helpful for you. I feel like I'm kind of, somebody's having a toothache, so, so I'm going to do something for your toothache. <sighs> so I'm just connecting with the organ systems that are related to that too. Because they read every single tooth is related to an organ or an organ system. This one's having to do with 
the uh, colons and small intestine and large intestine. And if you're not the one with the toothache, it would still, it may still be helpful that um, you get this energy to work on other parts of you. So you can direct the energy to work on other parts of you while working on this person's toothache because it's good energy that you can use for anything. So now I'm just going back on your timeline to see wh what started this toothache. And then just ask that pattern to change so that it's more coherent. So that whatever started it now will just be released. Okay, so now the part of the endocrine system that is showing up for us to work on is uh, the pancreas. And so spiritually, the pancreas is about being able to metabolize more joy in your life. So if you have been busy worrying about things, been busy at work and not taking care of yourself or taking care of everybody else, this usually creates some pattern in the pancreas that keeps you from feeling more joy and it keeps you busy, busy, busy for no reason and you don't feel joy. So we're gonna change the emotional patterns that are related to this and then optimize your pancreas, optimize the energy of your pancreas while doing that. Yeah, so now it's asking me, of course, this started somewhere, right, in your families where you're having to take care of parents. Yeah, it just feels like it's that thing of having to take care of everybody but yourself since you were a little kid. So the person that I'm doing this for, you know who you are. And there's a little bit of that in all of us healers, like taking care of everybody first. So let's just release that pattern and know that everybody is really okay. And if you have parents that guilt trip you into taking care of them, I'm so sorry. So let's see what would shift that pattern, the guilt trip thing from parents, oh my gosh. Ha, ha, ha. 
No, you can't make them grow up. <laughs> okay, so you can't make them grow up. What can we do? Okay, what will, let's see, what pattern would change this pattern totally for ease? So now I'm working with the pancreas. I know that I need to work on the adrenals because we've been exhausted from all this work of caretaking. So connecting to your lower back and your adrenals, just releasing all the patterns that contribute to exhaustion. And now connecting to all the healing frequencies that your adrenals need to be working in optimal energy, okay. Okay, and I'm, I'm connecting all the timelines and parallel timelines that created this pattern with the adrenal exhaust. Ooh. Gosh, that's many of you on the line, okay. Okay, so if you're tired from adrenal exhaust, you know that just, I, I will be working on, yeah, I think I'm going to work on a thyroid next because it's often related. So if you've been feeling sluggish, it could be hypothyroidism, but we're going to work on the thyroid and parathyroid so that there's always this fear of speaking up for ourselves and being who we are that's creating thyroid problems for many people. And it also makes you feel so sluggish 
when you have thyroid problems. So I'm working on thyroids. And clearing the fifth chakra so that you can speak up and be who you are in the world and know that your voice matters, who you are matters. So all the emotional patterns that keep you from speaking your truth and being who you are. Oh, release some of that, release that. And let's have clarity about what it's like to speak up for yourself and be who you are. And be able to do that in all your relationships at work, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. So this power to own your own voice and to be in your power. So I'm gonna work on uh, the ovaries for all you ladies because your place of power, your ovaries, uterus, all that is so powerful. So we're gonna just release all the patterns that keep us from being who we are, all the judgments that keep us from being who we are. And then the hormone levels that are appropriate for you will be replenished. So I'm gonna work on replenishing the hormone supply and then releasing all the emotional baggage that we carry. So you may feel something releasing on your lower back actually it's usually the lower back and then feel your stomach all relax yeah i feel it oh Okay, so I'm just hearing somebody who's tuning in later, something about endometriosis. So I'm just gonna connect with that pattern and help you release that emotionally, energetically, and then your body, the lining of your uterus will change. Okay, and then there's something about scarring tissue down there. So let me just connect with that pattern and ease that from you. So I think I just caught myself saying I will take care of your endometriosis. So just to be clear, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a practitioner. I'm just working on this energetically, and uh, if you need to see your doctor, please do so. So the energetic and emotional patterns related to endo endometriosis, I'm just gonna release those for you for total ease.
So sometime today or even within the next 24 hours, if you have discharges, that's totally normal because uh, energy work does that when we release stuff energetically, it will release cellularly too. So if you have discharges and all that, it's kind of normal within the next 24 hours or so. But anyway, if you have questions about that, you're welcome to call me or email me and, and I can tell you more. But just in case somebody's tuning in later um, who may have the same issue, yeah, please remember if you have questions to call me or your own doctor. Okay, so that I hope I took care of some of at least some of the aspects of endometriosis for you. And I'm so sorry for the pain you're feeling. Okay. So sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. So for, for the person who has uh, an, an infection, I forgot to do this part. So let me connect with your appendix and then energize your appendix to release some uh, good antibiotics for you, antibodies. I think just about anybody can use some. So it's nice to have a working appendix. Okay, so I think that this is all I'm going to do for that infection. And I'm going to put you all back on the line so that you're welcome to give me feedback on uh, whatever you need. Anything that I did not address that you would like me to, I will now unmute you all so you can tell me. Okay, does anybody want uh, to give me any feedback about what else you need for today? Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we can do something to adjust my neck a little better, Jade. Okay, so let me do some craniosacral work for you. Okay, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Oh, three and four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So I'm just connecting to the pattern of with a uh, normal curve and a normal upper spine looks like. And then entrain her back, her upper back with that, especially around C1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm connecting to one that is totally functional and working perfectly. And then and train more leans to that. And 
And as I'm working on C3 and 4, I just feel this connection to your lungs. Well, because it is connected to your lungs, so. <laughs> And that goes back to, now it's taking me to a timeline to where you were 30 weeks in utero. So, because your, your lungs, that is. So all the stress that you were absorbing when you were 30 weeks in utero. We're just going to ease that and release that and have your guys and angels help you with downloading a sense of safety in the world and feeling like you have every right to be here and that who you are is received in this world with total ease. Then now I just feel like a real shift in your neck. Do you feel that? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I can start to feel it. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> yeah, because it, when it's out, I know it. Because your sinuses start kicking up. And then my hand, my pinky finger is like bugging. <clears throat> so. Good, good, good. I'm glad you're able to, to feel a shift. Yeah, I'm actually watching it. <laughs> You're watching yourself being worked on. Oh my God, how funny. Yeah. <clears throat> Good, yeah. Let me see if I can shift some pattern in your left eye. And that goes back in utero. Mm -hmm. oh, 20, 30 weeks in utero, sometime there. Yeah, good. So I feel like I'm working on some past life comic stuff related to your eyes. Why is it every time I do past lives, there's always like a battle scene? <laughs> oh my god.
Okay, how are you doing now? Just feeling <clears throat> like energy, you know, going through that eye, particularly. <clears throat> Good. And I know after this call, I'm just going to lay down because it's been up since midnight. <clears throat> and now it's 4.20 my time. <laughs> So I ought to be really peaceful after this call. Yes. Very calming energy, and I know everybody on this call can feel it. Good. Now my eye feels like there's water in it, like. Good. Good, yeah, let those things release, because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Okay. So Marlene, is this a good place to uh, leave you and let you process? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna sit here in the energy of this. <laughs> Great, wonderful. So, Anybody else on the line? You have any requests? Anybody else? I just love you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. She wants her one night, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the other word out because of her child. <laughs> I was going to say, oops, her son's there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. Uh, I'm, I think I have to have this conversation that she doesn't want to have. <laughs> Actually, I think he was the Pleiadian energy you felt. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw him like stretching and all that when I was doing it. I was like, wow. So you said cool. that about him before. Yeah, so cool that he was responding to that. Oh, my God. That was so cute. And he can't hear. He he's uh, he's in his playroom right now, but he couldn't hear. But uh, he's uh, I think his uh, presence, his being, is way larger than mine. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I know the energy was moving a lot. Uh, I kept yawning and yawning and yawning, and to me, that's a sure sign that things are moving along and yeah this is awesome great that's wonderful so for all of you who are still here with me i'm actually thinking about doing like just a 21 day healing thing where anybody who wants to participate and it's like you don't have to be on a live call i'm just gonna do healing work for 21 days for and i think that i was thinking about you know just 47 dollars so that i can uh help as many people as possible and you can all choose to do whatever you want for the 21 days but i would just do like group healing like, like this on everybody for 21 days does that sound good because i feel like that would just allow everyone to feel like they can turbocharge whatever goals they have <laughs> work on whatever health issues you have and you can connect with that energy however uh, however you need to. So, mm. so that's what I'm thinking about. So instead of just leaving some of you feel like I'm just work on you for 10 minutes or whatever, and, and you feel like that open up a lot of new possibilities for what else can happen. And, and I feel like a 21 day thing so that Every time you receive an activation, you feel like, oh, so much more is possible. What else can I do? And, and then the next day, you can connect with that energy when I'm working on you and say, oh, yeah, so this is what I can use it for as well. And this is what I can use for as well. Because there's always um, new things, um, you know, new healing frequencies from all parts of the universe just coming to do this work with us. So the more people uh, involved, the more I'm able to tap into. And 
and the mm. more that I'm able to tap into, the more everybody heals because it's like we all reflect a different part of uh, each other. Excuse me. Yeah, that's fine. That's the cool thing. We all reflect a different part of each other. And like in any group healing, whether you are on the call or just participate in a 21 healing uh, where I connect with everyone's energy, whatever I do for one person, I do for everybody. So that's the nice thing about um, group healing. You don't have to decide, this is my top three priority, blah, blah, blah. And then somebody else has different top three priority, blah, blah, blah. And then you get all those, even though you didn't think about it. So you don't have to like prioritize three or four things. You can receive so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to have that on my website. Like I should get it together today. <laughs> so, but, but I think that, that that would be a nice way to help everyone continue receiving the energy, energetic support that you need. Yeah. So, mm. anybody else have questions or concerns you want me to uh, address before we go? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, everybody, and thank have you. a really great day. Thank you for participating. Bye bye. Bye, Jade. Bye, Jade. Bye. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you, Jade. You're so welcome. Okay. So I just stopped the audio, the video recording. Bye bye. Thank you, Mommy, for participating. Thank you for being here. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Queenie, for being here. Okay, bye-bye.